Look, one goal, three assists. Hell of a game for you. How do you feel? Good. Uh, finally starting to feel comfortable with uh, with the team the last few games here. Um, bit of adjustment at first, first couple weeks. Um, getting used to the language barrier and um, kind of building the chemistry with the guys on, on and off the ice. So um, starting to feel good and team's playing really well right now. So that's what matters most. And um, yeah, let's uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling going into playoffs here. You mentioned the language barrier. How about some Czech words? Have you catched something here and there? Uh, not much besides uh, like jiku, jiki, and ciao, and ahoy, and just simple words like that. But um, with this uh, week and a half or so off, I should start uh, trying to learn the language a little bit here. But uh, no, just a simple word so far. You scored your first in Schumperk. You scored your second today. So that's uh, good for confidence, I guess. Yeah, like I said, uh, just feeling more comfortable every single game, and um, guys are playing great, so they're making good plays, and it's making it easier on me to uh, to make plays as well. So a lot of good guys in that locker room, and it, uh, like I said, it's it's easy to uh, make plays when there's a lot of good guys you're playing with. Especially the third assist on David Ruta's goal was a great play from you. Like, uh, it's not really often that you see a defenseman doing something like that, so. Uh, that really shows something about your confidence. Yeah, uh, I think I really try to rely on my skating when I'm playing out there. So um, I saw a bit of an opening and I got a little momentum going forward. So, um, like I said, just try to use my skating. And that was a good play by him to crash the net and uh, his first goal. So that was exciting for him and congrats uh, to him for that. How does it feel to score a goal? I, I guess you didn't score a goal last season in Austria. Yes. So we waited uh, for a really, really long time. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, last couple of years I've dealt with uh, kind of a bit of a bad injury luck. I've had some injuries, and um, so I haven't really strung together too many games consistently. So um, I think these 12 games is actually the most games I've played in a row in, in two years. So um, feeling more comfortable, you know, each game. And um, like you said, it was good to get that first goal and kind of get that out of the way. So. How about your Kladno journey? How do you feel uh, like seven, eight weeks uh, getting to know the club, getting to know the city? So how do you feel? It's great. Guys are awesome. Um, great hockey players, good guys off the ice. They make me feel very comfortable and coaching staff has been awesome. Um, city's good. Uh, they put me in a nice place and um, it's been close to Prague. So I've got to do a little exploring there. Obviously not now with the uh, restrictions, but um, Um, yeah, I can't say enough about the organization, the team. They've treated me great and um, set me up for success. Is the presence of Zach Fry helpful? Yes, yeah, it's nice to have a, another uh, American to speak English to. Um, uh, but like I said, the guys are awesome too. Uh, they make me feel uh, comfortable and try to include me and, um, and talk to me whenever they can, even though it's a little broken English. But uh, They've done a good job of, of communicating, and, and Zach's been awesome too. So, yeah, it's been great. I know it's a cliche, but playing with Jaromir Jager and Tomáš Plekanec, uh, have you ever imagined that uh, you could play with those two? No, I mean, it's, like you said, they're, it's pretty cool playing with them. Those are two legends. Um, played in the NHL for a while. Plekanec had a great career, and Jager is one of the best to ever play. So, um, it's it's pretty fun. It makes coming to the rink really fun, and... Um, try to you know pick up on stuff from them and, and just more more than anything learn from their details and their work ethic every single day